As part of Infant Mental Health Awareness Week, I'm going to talk about infant mental health and what it means to us at Home Start, our approach to school readiness and how our school readiness offer supports positive infant mental health outcomes. Infant mental health describes the social and emotional well-being of children in the earliest years of life. It's the capacity to form close relationships, recognise and express emotions and explore and learn about their environment. At Homestart Kirklees, we recognise that sensitive, responsive and trusted relationships between babies and their caregivers help babies to learn how to experience, manage and express their emotions and how to feel safe to explore the world. We also know the first 1,001 days of a child's life are a period of rapid development and their early experiences affect not only a baby's emotional well-being now, but also influences how their bodies and brains develop over time. Although their futures are not determined by the age of two, persistent and severe problems in early relationships and emotional development can have lifelong impacts on a range of outcomes. A recent study of CAMS professionals around the UK has shown there are gaps in services provided for babies and toddlers aged 0 to 2 in some areas. The theme for this year's Infant Mental Health Awareness Week is Understanding Early Trauma and focuses on babies whose mental health is most at risk. These babies may have experienced early trauma from physical and emotional abuse, neglect and exposure to domestic abuse, or high levels of stress or conflict at home. We know that nurturing relationships can make a child more resilient to negative events. Without these nurturing relationships to support them, children are more susceptible to trauma when they experience negative events. Abusive or neglectful relationships between parents and babies are particularly traumatic and these experiences can have a negative impact on babies' brains which are particularly susceptible to damage in development and function in the first years of life. These can have potentially widespread and long-term consequences. So today I'm going to talk about um, school readiness and introduce our school readiness pack. We developed our school readiness packs as a toolkit for parents to encourage and support positive interactions between them and their babies. Our volunteers receive a package of training which includes key messages around nurturing parents and supporting parents to respond to their baby's cues, helping to build a healthy, strong and secure relationship. So in your packs you will find some stacking cups. These are great, children love to play and explore with these. Again, let the children take lead, let them have a little explore. A Home Start volunteer matched to a family can support and guide parents to understand the key messages around interacting with their baby from the earliest days. The suggested ideas provide practical ideas and resources for simple interactive activities, together with key messages about the benefits of doing so. Volunteers can demonstrate and model the activities to parents who may lack confidence and offer reassurance at times when they doubt themselves or their abilities. Participating in these activities can build parents' confidence and help them to recognise that all children will go through stages of development at different times. Spending time playing, listening and talking with their children will help parents to build a secure attachment with them and this can support children to learn how to manage their feelings, develop stronger self-esteem, build successful relationships, be more independent, be better at coping under stress develop resilience and experience less anxiety and depression in later life. Some parents need support to meet the challenges of parenthood. As we emerge from the COVID-19 pandemic, when extended family support networks have been restricted and support networks have not been physically available, we at Homestart are noticing the impact on children's development in terms of speech and language and socialisation skills. It's important to help parents recognise the need to be kind to themselves and to look after their own needs, as well as recognising the need for self-compassion and self-care. This might simply be making time for a cup of tea and a chat, going for a walk or having a shower, all of which can be supported by a Home Start volunteer. Pregnancy and early parenthood can be exhausting and is sometimes trial and error. Sometimes parents just need reminding that children don't need perfect parents, just good enough ones. However, if parents are finding themselves in low mood or more tearful or irritable than usual, volunteers can support them to seek help from their GP or health visitor 
or signpost them to other services who may be able to help. Good infant mental health promotes positive outcomes throughout a person's life and influences how they parent their own children. Investing in infant mental health pays dividends for generations to come.